Racing in the Bottle Green Ladies Day 2024 chase. Grade two over two miles and three furlongs where the big chap is going to take them along in the early part. But Lucid Dreams going to keep company on the inside. Found a 50 slots in three. That leaves Pinkerton four and I with a boneless back marker of five. Rounded the bend at the top of the straight, making the way on towards the three to bring them down to pass the stands. And it's Lucid Dreams and Danny Mullins from the big chap. who's a little wider out under Keith Donahue. Found a 50 close up on the inside and hitting it very hard at the back. Ivor the boneless does well to survive the error as they come down the hill now to make their way towards fences two and three. Lucid Dreams found a 50. The big chap towards the outside, then Pinkerton and Donna Myler. A break now to Ivor the boneless who took that chance at fence number one. And now they level off to go towards fences two and three. Found a 50 over in front from Lucid Dreams and Pinkerton being chased by the big chap and a break to Ivor the Boneless. And now they make their way towards the fence, which will be the last in the circuit's time. And out in front, it is found a 50. Leads over from Lucid Dreams and Pinkerton. Then the big chap, and just coming to jump it now, Ivor the Boneless. So they race up to pass the post. Found a 50, a grade one winner at Aintree last time. Took his beginners on this card last year. Being followed on the near side by Lucid Dreams. Just behind them is the Galway Plate winner, Pinkerton. And they're being chased in behind by the big chap, winner last time, and Ivor the Boneless last of all. Racing now towards fences four, five, and six, going away from the stands. Lucid Dreams and Founder 50 going to take off and land together. Pinkerton close in behind in third, and they're being chased in fourth by the big chap as Ivor the Boneless hit it very hard last of the five. Coming now towards the ditch, Founder 50 on the inside of Lucid Dreams. They're being chased in third by Pinkerton. Behind Pinkerton goes. The big chap, a long break opened up to Ivor the Bundles as they race now towards the fence before they turn into the back straight. This is fence number six, and it is Lucid Dreams on the outside of Founder 50. Again, they land in unison. Pinkerton jumped to third, being chased in four by the big chap, and just coming to jump it now is Ivor the Bundles. So they turn to make their way into the back straight, heading on towards fences seven, eight, nine, and ten in this contest, which was won in 2021 by Envoy Len, who we've just seen taking the big one. This year it's found a 50 who disputes the lead with Lucid Dreams and Pinkerton is third, being followed by the big chap and a long break to over the boneless as they continue along the back straight now, making their way on towards the next, which will be about a mile from home when they get to it. Fence number eight of the 13 and old they'll jump. Lucid Dreams. The nine-year-old leading the seven-year-old found a 50. Behind them in third spot is Pinkerton. The big chap just struggling to go with the leading trio at this point, and they're clear. Racing on their way now towards the next. This is still six fences from home. Lucid Dreams from Founder 50 and Pinkerton still poised in behind them. A break to the big chap and a further break to Ivor the Boneless. Going to rise now towards this one. Lucid Dreams have jumped at that one by Founder 50. who was a little quicker through it in the air. Pinkerton is third and they're in front of the big chap and they remain a long way clear from the back marker, which is Ivor the Boneless. Now they go to the two fences out of view. Found a 50 on the inside of Lucid Dreams. Pinkerton, the big chap, is next as they go towards the final ditch. Lucid Dreams and found a 50. They've kept company for much of the journey, and Pinkerton's enjoyed the lead. They're in front of the big chap as they come towards four from the finish. Found a 50, quick through the air there. Took a length or two out of Lucid Dreams. Pinkerton just in behind in a close three. They're away from the big chap as they race now towards the top of the track. Good run before they meet the third last in the Bottle Green Ladies Day 2024 chase. And it's Founder 50 on the inside who has the initiative under Sam Ewing. But Lucid Dreams and Danny Mullins are going right back up again on the outside. And Pinkerton still has plenty to offer under Donna Myler in behind. They're clear from the big chap. Rounding the bend at the top of the track now and they've got three to jump on the downhill run. It's Founder 50 being chased by Lucid Dreams. On the inside is Pinkerton clear from the big chap as they race now towards the third from home. Founder 50 has just about got the advantage. Pinkerton's trying to go through on the inside of Lucid Dreams. Down the hill they come, making their way on towards the second last. Found a 50. Pinkerton looks a big danger now. Lucid Dreams has come under pressure. They're a long, long way in front of the big chap who's back in three. Racing down now to go towards the second last. Found a 50. Pinkerton, Lucid Dreams coming back for some more now. And it's found a 50 with Pinkerton. Link or two clear from Lucid Dreams. They quicken up towards the final fence. Found a 50. Finds a little more. Pinkerton now has to go for effort as they make their way towards the final fence. It's found a 50. Length and a half to two in front. Pinkerton on the near side. Found a 50 is over. Pinkerton's trying to rally. Back in third is Lucid Dreams. It's 
towards Founder 50, who's holding off Pinkerton, who's beginning to try again on the near side. Founder 50 holds on to the advantage and lengthens to the line. Founder 50 for Sam Ewing and Gordon Elliott win from in second is Pinkerton there in front of Lucid Dreams, the big chap, and coming to the final fence, over the boneless. Well, much has happened since we last spoke to Gordon Elliott. We've just seen Founder 50 land the grade two bottle green chase. Gordon, give us your thoughts on that performance, first of all, because obviously at the weights, he had a stiff enough task against Pinkerton. He did, Gary, to be honest. I thought it was a good performance. I thought he settled well, he jumped well. Sam said he had a bit of a blow, he'd come on from it, but I thought it was a good performance. Jumped really well. Yeah. He's coming of age, you just get a feeling this horse now. Isn't he? Yeah, and he, oh, he's settling. Where he was very free when he was young, he's settling great there now. But uh, look, I'd say he's, he's a horse you could bring him back to two where you could step him up. Um, I'm not really sure where I'm going to go. Obviously, we'll go home and have a think about it and see what we do. But uh, he's a nice horse. He does hold the John Durkin yeah. entry where some obviously of the biggest names in the yeah. game could turn up. Would he be ready for that? Yeah, I'd imagine he would. Look at whether we go there, and you know, you're going to obviously Gallic Warrior and a few of them talking about going there, so it'd be a very good race. Um, or whether we try and keep it a bit smaller, I'm not sure. But uh, look, he's a good horse. He is. Nice one to look forward to for the rest of the season. Well, what are your thoughts on Jerry Colomb's defeat earlier on? Look, he seems to be okay after the race, Gary. Um, I was disappointed. To me, he never looked happy. Um, he never, like, going by the sands of the circuit to go, I watched the race with Jack and Mouse and Lisa. And, I said, I, I wasn't happy. To me, he never looked happy. Um, Sam said he got very tired then at the end. So, look, we'll just get him home. We, we, we might pull the blood off him and see how, how he is. But uh, he definitely didn't run his race because he didn't even finish out, to be honest. In terms of fitness, was he roughly where you had him coming here last year? No, I'd say a fortnight behind where I was. I didn't get him away. You know, normally we get a Tipperary for a, a school around there. And we got him in for a canter around Nav and Bush. Ah, look, I'm not blaming fitness. Mm. For me, like, it wasn't fitness I bet him. Uh, if he was bet with a circuit to go. Mm. Is it a case of going home, having a rethink about where you go next? Or will oh, you... listen, we'll go the same route. Yeah. We'll get, go the same route. We'll get him home and check and hopefully something shows up. Um, and we'll, we'll go from there. Yeah, Leopard Sound at Christmas then? I'd imagine Leopard Sound Christmas Gold Cup. That's the plan. And I'm back to entry. But uh, I didn't think he was ever going to win there today. And a couple of other nice winners to talk about. Cala Conti, she cashed in on what looked a nice mark in the yeah. handicap hurdle, and she did well too, didn't she? Plenty went wrong. She did, yeah. She nearly got knocked down, and she had no luck in running, mistake in the second last. But uh, I thought she'd need to run. Um, Lisa O'Neill said she'd win she roller the other day. So, as usual, the girl draw was right, you know. I didn't see the race myself, but I gather Beacon Edge was a good winner of the yeah. staying her lover in Weatherby. I guess job done in many respects. With yeah, look, brilliant. A um, bunch of lads uh, from the cheeky pub over in Portugal bought them. Uh, they seem to get uh, Justin Carty put together. So uh, they're all a good few of them in Portugal, so I'd say there'd be plenty of celebrations tonight. But uh, yeah, look, it's great like to win a grade two. Kind of rolled the dice in your end in Cheltenham last week, and uh, I just saw, thought the race might cut up and we might be, nick a bit of prize money, but uh, it was a good performance. Yeah. You haven't quite hit the heights you did here last year. In fairness, that was a big ask after 11 winners in 2023. But overall, you please with the way it's gone in the main? I have eight winners in two days. If we got had every two days, I'd be delighted. Listen, uh, you know, we were just touched off in one or two. But uh, look, I think out from Jerry, I think every horse ran his race. There was nothing we were disappointed with. But uh, listen, eight winners in two two days, and we're not finished yet. I think, yeah, I think you're expecting to finish with a bang with this bumper horse by the sound of it. If he gets better, he'll be disappointed. But in this game, it's always disappointments. We will watch with interest. Gordon, thanks so much. Cheers. Thanks. Bye bye. It's as if we've been gone forever, but soon. It'll feel like we've never been away. It's showtime.